What is going on, guys? Ah. Welcome to the brand new series. <laughs> you can see up my skirt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the brand new series here at SI Gaming called Creatively Psy. Um, I am on a server. Um, and from time to time, we'll have a few uh, guests on board with us. Um, for right now, I want to just go over a few basic things with uh, Boxel Sniper. So, I know some of you guys probably know that uh, Voxel Sniper is a very powerful tool. Um, it would be just one little click and it would crash any server. Um, I'm trying to drain back some of this water at the moment so we don't so it doesn't get in the build area and I better slow down. <laughs> there we go. Because <laughs> all that running water right there is going to cause a ton of lag. Um, although that's not too bad. So I'm going to regen the area, see, F3 and A. Ooh, that didn't work out at all. <laughs> There we go. But anyway, I want to go over a few basic um, commands here. So what we've got is um, a basic world spawned in creative mode with world edit and um, a few basic plugins and um, voxel. So right now, I am using the drain brush from Voxel Sniper. All you do is you hit slash B and drain and then if you want to change the size of the brush just do B and a diameter which I'm using 20 um, anytime you use a size over 15 I think yeah anything over 15 it will give you a warning large brush size selected and be extremely careful so always double check what size brush you're going to use I like 20 because of this deep water you don't have to click it too many times yeah, there we go. Um, I have prepared a little area already over here. Um, I know there's a command to TP with Voxel, but I don't know it. <laughs> Not offhand, anyway. Um, uh, the uh, wiki for uh, the tool here is very handy. Come on, Chunks, load in for me. Okay, so one other thing that is really, really, really handy. Um, Voxel does not like grass, flowers. Um, it doesn't really like trees. Uh, na anything natural growing, we've got to get rid of it. So there's, there's another way that you can do it that's not too bad for a small area um, using world data, but we're going to do it this way for now. And let's see. Um, no, that doesn't work. Um, if you type in, we're going to type in B, and we're going to type in B again for ball, for like a sphere, and then we're going to type in MM. Now, I know there's many ways to do this, but this is the way that I'm comfortable with. And MM stands for. Uh, mat, mat, or material, material. So we hit enter. And right now, the, our voxel, which we're going to change right now. No, we're going to leave the voxel at zero. Anyway, what the voxel is, you change it by V, and it's basically item ID. So zero is for air. Um, if we want to change it to stone, be one, or dirt, be three. So, yeah, basic stuff like that. Uh, replace material. It's set to air right now, so we want to type in V R for voxel replace and 18. Why 18? Well, we're going to start cutting all these leaves off. Like that. And there we go. And then we want to type in VR 17 and then get rid of the logs. 
And I know that you can use... Come on, there we go. Say VR flower, maybe? No. I, I don't know all the item, item IDs for the flowers. And I can't figure out how to turn on the item ID up here. I know it's... I don't know. Control O or Control F7 or some crazy combo like that, but I'll figure that out. Um, for now, I want to talk about, um, since we've been using the arrow, I want to talk about the arrow and the gunpowder. Now, basically, for terrain tools, um, why is that shadow there? Hmm. Those lines from that stone are killing me. We are in a texture pack, um, modern HD, so you can see that it, it does have lines and stuff in it. We might have to go back to vanilla for this. I'm not real sure, but um, we'll give it a shot. Because uh, basically, number one, I like this guy. That's pretty cool, huh? Um, anyway, <laughs> for basic terrain tools, you want to think of arrow as one action, and then the gunpowder is the reverse of that action. So, uh, let's change our brush size to five. Okay, and then we want to change it to brush BB or blend ball. Now the blend ball, it doesn't care what material we have or anything like that. So hit enter. Um, you can do BB MM. I'm pretty sure. Yes, and then you can do your voxel of whatever it don't it don't matter it doesn't use a box and then you can use your voxel replace I believe where it would only change say two so let's see what it does no it changes everything so it doesn't really care what it is <laughs> so to undo an item just do slash u like that there we go I'm gonna set it back to day there we go pretty cool <laughs> Um, so let's look at blending that flat face into this smooth ground. So one of the things that I want to do, I always like using the uh, ball brushes for some reason. Um, but let's do brush and uh, let's do V. Okay, so brush type is voxel. Then we want to use um, a voxel item ID of one for stone. We'll change the B to five, which I think it's already at, yeah. Alright, so there's that. Now, gunpowder in this instance would do the same. Let's test it out. So there is a voxel, or cube, basically. What does the gunpowder do? Does the same sort of, except if I'm looking at this right, it one lays it down and one uh, no does the exact same. So in this instance, it does the exact same. So let's build up this uh, bridge here a little bit and continue on that on out just for. A little bit. We don't want to add too much because we can always. You know what? I gotta get rid of this texture pack. Let's do that. It's just driving me crazy. Uh, resource pack, and let's take that off and just go with default. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay. Um, <laughs> the stone had way too many lines in it, so that's much better. Okay, so uh, let's continue on with this, adding in a little bit there. The object of terraforming is not to have, you know, these square lines that you're seeing here. Like that. That does not look natural. Although, in some instances, it would look pretty cool, you know. Nice, you know, like, um, futuristic landscape on a cube world or, or something like that. Um, let's try a different... Uh, shader pack too. Options, shader packs, and let's try one 
with uh, no shadows because I think that's kind of full in our eye for right now. Oh, don't want to open that. And hit done, done. Well, I'm not sure which is better or which is worse. Um, I'm going to find one that I like here that, that, that you can see everything on anyway. Standard, let's do... Or is that where it was at? Um, let's do the light. That works. That works. Eek. That's not too bad. Anyway, you can see the general shape. So the next thing we want to do is type in B, BB for blend ball. And then we want to change it to voxel type, keep it as stone, and brush type, brush size. I want to change it to 10 for now. Now the blend ball does not make a ball per se. It blends in the shape of a ball. So watch this. See how it it's round, but it's still not in the shape of a ball totally. And let's go ahead and smooth a little bit of this out. And then load this chunk back in here real quick. There we go. Basically, we're just building up some thickness to the thing. Okay, so there's that. And now I want to change. If you want to, ch like, take away something that you did, of course, you always have slash U um, to redo something or to undo something. But then if you added too much, you think, um, let's change it so that we use the arrow. And what, does hap what happens? It takes away items in a circular shape. So now it's getting to look just a little bit more natural. And then I like to just keep doing this combination until we get something um, we can work with. So we're going to bulk, naturalize, bulk, and naturalize until it looks right. here and the one good trick that I learned well not one I learned many but one good trick I've I've learned from uh, my friend a 360 B you can catch him on uh, on planet Minecraft and uh, I'll try to link uh, some of his stuff but then if you take the same blend ball that we have right the gunpowder the brush the arrow, sorry. And then if you add, change the brush size to where it's fairly large that would cover most of the area. So I'm going to go with 15. And then right click in the center. And you notice how it smoothed most of the area off. Like such. Now if you feel like it didn't smooth it off or smooth it off too much, um, use the gunpowder. It should increase a big area. See that? There we go. Now back to the arrow. Now that gives a fairly smooth mountain face so, so that, you know, all the blocks are one on top of one, they're, they're not like a face like this. They're mostly smooth. But then we want to do something like this. We're going to do B, R, E for random erode. And we're going to do a brush size of five. Now remember, the arrow and the gunpowder do opposite things. So let's test it out. Right click with the arrow. See how it's eroding the area, changing the face of it gunpowder. Well, maybe it does the same thing on this one. I'm not real sure. <laughs> no, it's adding to it. You can see there. It's adding to it. So this way, you can get some variations in specific areas. There we go. Now let's 
just randomly rode the whole area. Let's see. Okay, let's change the brush size to 15. Right click one time. I need to do a bigger brush size. Let's undo that. And B of, say, 25. Warning, large brush size selected. <laughs> okay. Random eroding up here. Now, I want to do something. There we go. And we can also use. Um, I'll tell you what, let's stop for there, but let's learn how to do the overlay stuff to it. So, one of the best things that you guys can learn is if you want to change something that you're doing, always do slash D, and that completely resets your default values in case, like, when you first log on, always do slash D, or before you log off, slash D, so that when you come back in the next day, and you don't right-click and have a disaster. <laughs> okay, so we want to set this so we can put topsoil over this. So we're going to do brush, uh, D, over, Just like that. And then we're going to do slash B for the depth for D. And we're going to do 3. No? Oh, no space. Oh, maybe it's just slash D. No, oh, damn it. <laughs> Alright, let's start over. <laughs> it's been a while since I've played with Fox in here. Okay, so B over D3. There we go. <laughs> so that's going to set the brush to the depth of 3. So basically, let's change our voxel or item ID to 3 for dirt. Now, if we right clicked with the arrow, you can see that it changes. I clicked here. And anywhere on top of a block, it went down three. So there's one, two, three, one, two, three there. And now if you remember, the gunpowder does different things. So the gunpowder will stack on top of the stone instead of replacing it. Like that. Which can be handy. So I want to continue this change the brush size. So it's a large brush size warning again. And there we go. And you can see it's only going to overlay to a depth of three. <clears throat> you can see how it's... Oh, excuse me, I need a drink. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, you can see how that it's overlaying that edge where the stone is deeper than three blocks. And doing the same here. And then on top of that, we want to do B over D1 again. But instead of D3, we're going to do D1. Hit enter, and then we're going to change the voxel to 2. And come up to here, overlay all that with grass. So there you have a very basic terrain. Of course, there's many, many, many other things that you can do, but that gets you pretty much most of them. Um, from here, you know, it looks just like, you know, plain old dirt hill. Doesn't have any grass, doesn't have any flowers. 
but what I want to do, if you hit B and tree, and then it's selected just for tree right now, but let's do B, T, and we're going to do big underscore tree. Now this will plant big, you know, the large oak trees and the ones that have the the multiple branches and stuff like that. There we go. <laughs> no, they're not custom trees, but it's handy because you can fill in a large area pretty easy. And you don't have to be standing right up against it so you can get it a... Um, a better look at where you're clicking. There we go. Uh, and be careful too, because I do believe that you can click this anywhere and that will plant one right on top of that one. <laughs> and it looks like I planted the second one on top of like a fire twice. <laughs> so, but trees are an issue because you can't undo trees. So whatever I there change the, the grass back to dirt. So you can't undo trees. But we have a tool for that. And that's the uh mat mat, and then you use the V of zero for air and replace material VR of eighteen and a brush size of Let's go with something small like two. And then start clearing off this tree. There we go. And you can see also if you shift and right click the block you want to replace, it changes it for you. Oh, out of our range. And that's an easy way to get um, like a dead forest or something like that. Just grow the oak trees and make yourself a dead forest. For your evil castles. <laughs> and then we're going to shift and right click again. So now it's set to logs. And easy peasy. The tree is erased. Yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this little starter segment. Um, please, the power of Voxel will just tear your servers up. So please, always, when you hit that B and, and pass 15, heed that warning. <laughs> um, stay tuned for more tips on Voxel, because in my opinion, the base to every um, great build starts out with terrain. And um, I, I know that uh, people have talked about uh, wanting a fantasy creative mode build for our first um, suggestion. And that is going to start with terrain gen and uh, terraforming. So I'd like to say um, thanks to uh, Pyrex and Feed the Bees, FTBs, <laughs> for um, hosting me and um, any future guests. Um, check out their server at uh, ftbs.com. Um, of course, this one is set to private to uh, kind of limit uh, who may, how many people have the uh, Voxel Sniper. So thanks for watching, and um, be on the lookout for uh, lots more terraforming and our first theme build of fantasy. All right, guys. Peace out.